Thank you so much for joining me this Game Edge. We are back in Stranded Deep on a brand new update to 0.37 on Experimental. It actually has a lot of cool goodies on this. Actually, I'm kind of impressed with what they're doing. Uh, they're, they've actually are going for the end game. So I, I decided, you know what, what the heck, we're waiting for Bermuda to get a little more action going on. And I was looking at this going, you know what, i got to test this out. Now, we're going to go through all the updates while we're getting uh, scavenging and getting some stuff around here. And there's some really nice goodies and good changes and listening to the community, which I'm very happy for them. Um, I've, I, if you guys don't know, I have series upon series of this. I have only, <laughs> only but this game. I've actually, uh, well, I spent a long time on this game. We've, we've done a lot of work. But yes, we'll, we'll check it out. The scene it is experimental. It has a little bit of, I find a little bit of problems right now. It's slowing the hell down. This is a little bit of graphical. I'm seeing frame rates drop dramatically. And again, Experimental are going to have these updates. A little bit of lag as I was walking right through here. And it shouldn't be because I look at my computer right now. It's barely using any CPU. So we, we must have some little bit of issues. It's okay. It's about Experimental. You take the risk when you jump into that. You, uh, you jump into Experimental Branch and you kind of say to yourself, you know, well, what am I going to do now? Well, yeah, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump into it. I don't want to drop that. I'll pick that up. Thank you. Uh, we're actually just going to pick up our hand here. And uh, I think there's, I know there's a button here. Why that's it? One, I forgot about it. It's been a little bit, but yes, um, I wish <laughs> I wish you'd stop doing that every time you pick up something. That would be pretty nice. If I've selected hand, I want them to, you know, give me the opportunity to not to have anything pop in my face as I'm picking up stuff. All right, let's get through this and let's get through the updates that are going on. We're going to pick up whatever we can here, of course. Uh, we have a limited amount. And they do stack. Oh, I just got bitten by a freaking crap. Well, that's new. All right, well, that, that was new between both. We did take a little break between. I figured I'd let the developers give us a little more content as we're going through this. And, uh, yeah, it looks like it's it's working out pretty well. All right, let's see here. I'm going to go through that. I'm just going to get myself a little bit of this while we're doing this. Yeah, I'm going to get some sticks. We're going to need some sticks big time. All right, guys. So, all right, the changes that... Well, let's just go through new features that occurred now. This is actually really cool. In 0.37, uh, they've added aloe plants. This is not the coolest part. Wait, there is a really cool-ass plant part. Uh, they removed the, the flu symptoms. Remember the flu symptoms are occurring there and people were getting sick? I did play it during that part and it was really getting annoying. Uh, another reason why I didn't really kind of bring this to you guys too much. Uh, but yes, I, I figured that we changes in the, the community itself really did speak out. And so they removed that for now. Uh, they added aloe plants uh, to cure sunburns, which we have to be careful for. And they do progress throughout different kinds of months, uh, different time of months. And supposedly if we look at our watch here, right here, uh, you'll see the UV level on top right right now. It's just very high. So we've got to be very careful. Uh, that and that is something. It's 104, well, 104 Fahrenheit. That, that's freaking hot, man. Uh, that's bloody hot. Uh, we have to be careful because we do get, well, if we get sick and we do get that, we have two hours uh, by the time it starts draining us. We can cure ourselves. Uh, there's also aloe salvi, uh, which is, I'm not sure if I said that properly. If I didn't get say it properly, I'm sure I'll, I'll, I'll hear it from you guys. Um, but yes, uh, this prevents sunburn, so it's part of the aloe plant, I guess, itself. And a UV index display in our watch we just saw. There's also a new heat wave display on the watch. Heat wave? I didn't see that. What did you? Heat wave status effect. I uh, don't see it. Maybe it'll pop up. UV very high. All right. Well, I guess that, that might pop up afterwards. That's okay. That's cool. We will deal with that as it pops up. Um, right now, I am picking up Fivorous Lease here. And uh, the reason why I'm doing that is because, well, these these little things are going to make themselves into some cordage. And, uh, yeah, twine. You'll be able to build that up here. I'll show you guys that in a second. We'll just chop these little suckers up. And uh, here's the coolest part. And get ready. For, they're, they're heading towards the end game with this. And there is, of course, all these missions. We did check out in uh, the, the actual, well, where we had to go for that. And uh, supposedly a lot of that is fixed and stuff. Hopefully, we can actually see the mission this time. Uh, but, yes, there is sharks. And there's a large octopus mission. There is... Uh, I think Piranha Mission too. I'm not mistaken. I know there's a shark one too, a big one. But uh, yeah, there's that's really cool. So there's a lot of things to do there. And uh, they did actually add a gyroscope frame. Gyro, sorry, gyroscope. Gyrocopter frame. Gyrocopter seat. Gyrocopter motor. You're getting this point now. Cockpit and rotors. That is really cool. Nice choice on bringing that in. So we can actually make ourselves a gyrocopter, which is um, I'm I'm really I'm I'm curious. I'm really curious. There is an end game to this. They are heading towards that, and this is where we're starting to see a progression towards this, where this game will have a start and a finish. Now, this does start off with a plane crash. That has not changed. It's the same identical plane crash all the way through it. So this is the reason why I'm not going to frenzy on it, guys. It just it is what it is. The same exact thing over and over again. Um, I do think they need to revamp that completely. I don't like the way it looks and feels. It's really loud, and I don't know. It's really just me. You can actually turn 
down volumes. I know people always say that, turn on volume and stuff and deal with it. I, I do. I just think that, you know, it'd be cool if they can actually kind of fix that up. Uh, they also did a couple other things. They changes, uh, like they said, added to some of effect. Remove heat stroke status effect. Remove flu status effect. We went through that. Added vertical swimming movement, which I can't wait to see. I'll check that out too. Vertical swimming. All right. I, I'm, I'm into that. It makes it a little better. <laughs> Uh, they also did a shark respawn. They removed it, so the sharks will not respawn anymore. Which, actually, we had a little problem. We remember we were building that base, and I was saying, I wish they would respawn in two seconds. I, I think they fixed that up. Wow, we can actually carry a lot. Now, 16? Wow. All right. I, that has been updated. I didn't see that in last updates. That is really nice. I'm carrying more than usually. I'm, I'm like, this is bigger? Feels bigger. It's carrying more or something. I don't know. These rocks, I'm, I'm, you got to carry them because they're, they're more important than you can ever think. Uh, looking for also something I can eat afterwards. Uh, there is a whole bunch of stuff we could do. Now, the only thing I do think that they could have worked on is a night cycle to the day cycle. I think it goes way too fast versus each other. Uh, I don't think they switched or fixed that up at all. But we'll see how that goes. We're going to make our move uh, very shortly to the actual vessel and get ourselves down. It looks like there's something sunken over there. There is a risk when we start doing that, guys. Again, there's always a risk. Be careful, these stupid crabs. Uh, they do bite. They do bite. Yeah. Well, they bite. They, they they use our claws and pinch us. I would say pinching better. Yeah, it's a little smarter. All right, let's roll with that, and uh, we're gonna make ourselves our way somewhere else. I don't know. If there's I don't know the area. I didn't check out to see how this thing is built or what there is. I didn't see any aloe here, unless I'm missing it. Vertical swimming. Oh, look at that mini meter too for the air. They added 15 seconds of air too, so you can actually swim for an extra 50. Oh, this is smoother. Oh, I'm liking that a lot. That feels a whole lot better. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm playing Bermuda a little more, and that's that's a brand new game that's out too. If you haven't seen that, Lost Survival Bermuda, that's absolutely cool. And I'll make sure to have a link in the description field for you guys to play with. Um, all right, so we can actually just do our hand motion here. Let's just press one. And we'll cl right-click on this, and we'll push this baby out and try and figure out where we're going to go next. That island looks really big on that side. That one looks big too. I don't know where north, south, east, and west is. I wish... I had one of those cool ass watches or something, and I would tell you that, but I don't know. I'm just gonna check to see on this side. We're gonna go through the rest of the notes too, guys. We are. We are. There's some wood here I can pick up. I think I can go with that one. Another one looks really nice and big over there. A small one over there, but that's a really large island. There's another large one over there too. Huh. Well, it's gonna be a risk. We'll, we'll have to figure out. Now we're at the finals of the mission areas, which is gonna be fun. That's what I like about this game is that it, you know, you can do the cartographer and check out to see where you're gonna go. That's for sure. There was a shark. Mr. Shark is pissed off. All right, while we're gonna be getting ourselves going, I don't know which one I'm gonna to go to. That one is really large on that side. Um, I think I like that one over there. I don't know why. I just feel like that's the one I need to go to. That's strange. They all look big on this uh, horizon here. Oh, I don't know where to go. Uh, anywhere but the shark. All right, the shark is uh, tiger shark. I think is after us. All right, we'll go to this one. We'll check it out. We'll do our best. All right, guys. Um, here goes on the rest of this. Here we're gonna run through the whole thing. So underwater breathing of by five, fifteen seconds, but increase, which is really nice. Uh, remove jump button by canceling vertical operations. That's that's cool. Uh, they also removed um, fire torch and refined axe from loot. So that's something we probably won't find anymore. That's that's okay. That's okay. We we can pretty much build whatever you have to. I'm not sure if I like that island anymore. That one has big ass trees. This one is just palm. Ah, uh, shit. I might go with that one. Yeah, I think I'll go with that one. Uh, if I do, I might have to pause it by the time we get there. It might take a little longer. We have to 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 get there. Hold the jump and climb. Why why is that there? That that needs to go. That's probably an error again. It's experimental. We have to be very patient, guys, at what we're doing. Please remember that. We have to be patient. All right, let's go through the rest here. Bug fixes also the atmospheric and underwater fog, drawing over transparent effects, crafting ghost and smoke. All right, so that's cool. They, they fix up a couple of those things. Fix display name repeating on empty fire torches. All right, a whole bunch of little cool fixes. And again, they are kind of moving themselves into that direction. And they, they, they kind of try to get us into that thing. I'm going to see if I can scroll through this here, guys. Sorry for the pauses up a bit. All right, here we go. All right, so this is what they're saying here. The updates add more to the end game scenario, and it always been a plan for players to rescue by helicopter after completing a series of objectives. By recently, uh, but recently, 
we thought that we wouldn't... Okay, left the players on... Okay, well, build their own. MacGyverism, as they're saying. So they wanted us to build their own gyrocopter, too. So I'm not sure if that is the end game because I don't see a gyrocopter bring us across the ocean. I don't, I don't think that would be a rational point of uh, a play. But, you know, getting out. I mean, unless he's close to somewhere else, like Jamaica. I don't know. It's possible. Unless there's a Bermuda Triangle. I have no idea where the heck they are right now. They've never really mentioned the exact area. So they will need to collect parts that are mentioned here to build a gyrocopter and complete a new mission. So new missions are going to be very important. There's a few parts unlocked. Uh, all right. I wonder if you can do that in maps or anything. Well, we finish off the rest of the mission. Gyrocopter will eventually form parts in final end game story events. Interesting. This update is addresses a controversial new environmental status effects, which is one thing they brought up, which seems to be a big thing after seeing how they see this is where it's really cool. How uh, we're playing sorry, we'll see it's gonna after seeing how they were playing and listening the players' feedback, we realized that there's a few two we took a few missteps. And that where it comes into these things where they're talking about the same exact thing, but they're vomiting and the flu like symptoms, exposure, the limits. Uh, there's one thing they that was a weird sound. Um, all right, I don't think I picked the right item. No, oh, it is what it is. We'll, we'll, we'll deal with it. We'll make our way around until we find whatever we have to find. Uh, but yes, okay, so let's go through here. The events and the UV index showing. Uh, index indicators are harmful solar radiation, which is okay. That's what we have to worry about. Very high extreme effects at the, by the same time of the year and the month. And June and September, beginning the most deadly. So these are the most deadly times. And tied up to the game series. So that as it progresses, I guess it gets a little less. So 11 is extreme. That's for, we have one hour of exposure, I think it is. And 8 to 10, very high. Two hours of exposure. I'm figuring that's what they mean by this on their graph here. 3 to 5, you have five hours of exposure. And 1 to 2, uh, oh, effectively never. So you actually will never get that. Oh, actually, we found a pretty good island here. I'm liking this already. I like, I like having wrecks on my islands. That, that is that is actually really good. I'm happy with this. This is a good place for us to start. We're going to make ourselves a fire and get yourself going. So hats off to the developers. I do like that the that we can craft all this stuff up. I'm, I can't wait to see where to find the aloe. Um, all right. Look, let's just see here. F. Oh, shit. Are you shitting me? I hate those damn things. You guys are going to mess with me too? I'm going to eat you for supper, you little shit. All right, let's, let's just watch out here for a second. We're going to press C and hold this down. And what I'm holding C, you can actually see things we can craft, like a campfire right here. All right. And that just went down really quick because I held it like that. And we can actually make ourselves something a little better, too, than that. Holding down this, we can actually just release it and put that down. So, therefore, we have now our campfire just going to stay pretty much longer than else. Well, other things we can. But to make the campfire, we're going to actually make ourselves a kindling stick right here. And that's going to drop. On the ground, I guess, or in my inventory. Inventory, it is. I'm going to actually start this up. Now, there is wood in here, so we don't have to worry about that currently. And what I'd like to do is actually just drop all the stuff here for when we do need it. I will check to see if this is not needed to inject. It doesn't. All right, that's good. We're going to place our wood sticks here, just so I don't lose them. Um, yeah, I don't want to lose any of these things here. And all this stuff we can craft at night. Let's drop this all here. Don't piss me off, you little shit. I swear to God. Man, he's friggin' annoying as hell. Alright. And tarps will do one, two. Are they still moving the stuff around? Or they, can they, uh, they move around it? Alright, good. Alright, we're gonna double check to see if these, these boars are really not gonna be doing anything to us. I'm just gonna check to see if we can have anything in these. Oh, there's something here. Let's do tab. Some planks. Alright. Is there a chest in there? There's a chest. Grab that. Do one. It goes inventory. Let's see if there's another one. It seems like it really lights up easily, too. You can see it a lot better than it used to. I don't know if it's just me or not. All right. Okay, come on. Oh, no. Don't tell me I'm stuck in this damn thing. I've been known to get stuck in these. Let's crouch yourself in it. There we go. That worked out very well. All right. We got ourselves one crate. That works out good for the night. We won't have time to do very much more because, hey, uh, nightfall here. It drags, and we have to actually make ourselves a shelter. So we're going to try and do our best to pick up planks and stuff, whatever we can on this island. And also, utilizing a tool we had on this. 
over here. I uh, would like to find aloe as fast as we possibly can too. That'd be pretty cool. Make some you know, palm here. It's going to get dark really fast. There is a ship right here. We should probably drag this up. Just to have our raft here. We would like to be able to use this as a crafting. That would be really cool. Okay, let's do this again here. Hold. Should be able to jump up on this. Still doesn't work, huh? It used to work before. What the hell? Oh, I guess it doesn't make a difference because I'm right here. I can just walk up on this. It's going to be a little dark for you guys. I'm sorry. I am sorry. All right. Look at that in a second. We're going to have to come back because I won't be able to see shit. I'm sure I'm missing stuff. I can't really see anything in here. There is this here, small locker, which we looked at. Small console, there's nothing. And it doesn't look like there's anything back here. There could be stuff here without actually seeing it. I, again, very, very tough to see up top. We'll just see if we can straddle this here. There we go, we do jump up. And we do have another crate over here. That's awesome. It looks like there's some goodies in there. We'll make our do and jump herself over here. Yeah, I think there's a shark in the water. That's why I started hearing my heartbeat go off. Ah, ah son of a freaking beeswax. Yeah, that does... Oh, freaks. How many snakes are on the freaking islands now? Holy moly. They might have increased the snakes' population. On larger islands. I'm going to need to find aloe and stuff. That's going to be interesting. It doesn't seem to be here. There is a crate here, I think. There's something here because it's showing a bubbling. Or is it another fake one? It might be a fake one. We'll have to come back in daylight. Daylight come and we want to go home. Day is a day. Right, let me grab this. Wow, we got like a lot of stuff on us right now. Let's grab whatever I can. Seems like I can pile up a lot of shit on us. That's good. Do a little more young palm. Uh, these things do blur, grow back. Last I checked, unless they removed that too. I don't think they did. These little saplings do not grow back. And I usually don't cut down any kind of palm trees. Just so I can keep the shade going. These small ones can go down. There is other islands we can cut that off of. So I'm not too worried. I am uh, experienced in this game. I do understand it very well. I don't know the new updates and stuff. Like the new stuff that they did. Especially the new... Kind of... What do you call those things? Missions? Little missions they have? Uh, which are really cool. I mean, I can't wait to do that. I guess it's all up to you guys. If you guys want to see more of this, you're going to have to hit them in the comment fields and tell me a like button. Give it you want to see a little bit of series. We could do a couple of these a week. And, you know, rotate them around. It will be every single day. But, you know, a couple a week. That way we, we can rotate this in and out. That's my plan. Then we can bring in, you know, all different kind of games also. I do like to bring them all to you guys. And I do want to still see... Bermuda Lost, I know they're coming up with uh, an update coming up too. They're working on it. It's been progressing. They've been adding some stuff to it, so getting very interesting. This is where I just came from. All right. All right, well, we should build ourselves a shelter or something. Ah, oh, you shit. Okay, that's it for the scrap. That's it. That's it, you little shit. You're down. I've had enough of being bitten. Man, I'm going to need to get some water going. Okay, coconuts are here. That is okay. We have our sticks here. And our rocks here. We just need to make... What is it again we need for that? Let's press C. I need to make myself a bed too. As fast as I possibly can. So let's see here. That'll be in our structures, I'm pretty sure. Our campfire. Wouldn't a bed be in your structures? Would it make sense to you? There it is. Alright, shelter. I need to make... Alright, so four... Was that palm fronds? Oh, okay. I do need... All right. I'm going to have to take down one... Oh, shit. I'm going to kill that damn thing. All right, we're going to have to take down one coconut tree. One tree. This is going to be the one. Could make ourselves an axe. It'd probably be easier. We'll, uh, I'm just trying to make sure I get this done. Once it's done, I'll, I'll start making those things. The axe is definitely a whole lot faster. Uh, coconuts will fall off if there's any in this tree currently. They will drop down, so just got to keep an eye open for that. And we'll get that done. At least we get... Our bed done, and then we can start building ourselves a base and a raft and start moving ourselves around. Now, there is a quite a bit. Once you get a mortar, you can make a mortarize, and it's a lot of fun. I don't think the gasoline is yet incorporated completely in the game, so 
once you get motorized, you can get a lot done. Now, how do you find a motor? You go and you dive. You dive and find them. You find parts here or there. And we will make our way through it. Anytime there's an update, a big update on experimental, unfortunately, you do mostly time make us start over. So I think we're pretty much done here. I'll go back and make an axe, but all right, let's see. I didn't see a coconut drop, did you? I don't think I did. All right, we'll just do the palm bunch off. Come back to this wood right afterwards. Once I have a, a real, a real uh, axe going. It's not that hard to make, to tell you the truth. I, I should have just made it from the get-go. Sometimes I like to struggle. Come on. I'm going to go back and make it. It's going to take too long. We're just going to drag this with me. There we go. All right. Right-click and hold this. Bring this over here for now. Uh, we are going to make ourselves an axe. I think I have to make two of these, if I'm mistaken, right? One. I have a second one on me, and then I can do an axe, if I'm not mistaken, here. This. Tools. And we're going to look down here. For crude axe, I need... Alright, I need some of you. Alright, let's make a lot of these suckers here. You guys understand about a second what we need to make these things should be pretty much standard what you're gonna make you actually hold down c and just drop these down really quick i wish we could do a whole bunch over and over again there we go oh shit no i didn't want oh well i went too quick crude hoe no i want axe i want an axe Okay, let's see if we can actually make the axe here. Perfect. Crude axe. It's saying I'm too full with stuff, so you have to drop off some goodies. Right here, we can actually start up a fire if we need to. And utilizing this so I can see a little better, and you guys can see a little better what's going on. Alright. Alright, I'm holding it. There we go. Now you have to hit the mouse button as many times as you possibly can. This will actually get this going. The fire will start, and I just have to repeat by clicking the left click on the mouse and get yourself going. Now, if you guys don't know what Stranded Deep is, and most of you probably do already because you're already kind of addicted to this game, uh, but it's nice to see the progression of this game constantly. We haven't even looked at our lock chest yet. Well, there we go. Let's, let's look inside. All right, that's nice. So we can actually drop you that I have in my inventory into that. And how about that? Drop that. What else we have here? We have a fishing spear. I'll take that out. Uh, we got some more. You now, this stuff is really nice because you can build really uh, on the ship. I actually need this corrugated corrugated grab. I like to put it on the top of the actual ship. It looks a lot cleaner. So these are kind of things I need. Now, flare gun has no use at the current time. Uh, vitamins can you be used? You can actually use this for treating small illnesses and stuff, which is very very sweet. Now we did kill a crab. We're gonna utilize that. More surprising to find coconuts. I'm hoping they're still around. Just gotta drop them on here. I wonder if they fix this where it actually, you know, that sound goes ding. Interact. Oh shit. Are you kidding me? I thought I just I saw interact and I said, oh, okay. Leave me alone, you little shit. I'm gonna put a spear right into your ass, I swear to god. You're gonna die a horrible death. I'll make a couple of those spears. Make sure that little bastard stops bothering us. Uh, we're going to need some coconuts. Like now. So, let's walk up to the tree. Press press and hold the space bar. Okay. Which is jump on. And I should be able to see some coconuts on top of this. This one should have some. I might have had some on the other side. Oh, I saw it on the other side there. I can't go around the tree itself. So, I have to go up there. Was there smaller ones? Because I'm tired of like... Some smaller. Oh, frig! Between the crabs and stuff, this is just friggin' annoying as hell. Alright, there's a coconut. That's perfect. Leave me alone. Alright. We'll use that for now. And we're gonna use our. We can use our axe too if you want to, but there's also. 
let's drop this, this, and this one here. We're going to drop in this baby here. All right, that's good. This we can drop here. All right, I think we're doing pretty good. Where's my axe I made before? That's not it. I got to use a right click on the mouse. So you can actually move stuff around. There it is. Beautiful. Let's break these up and make ourselves a shelter. Beautiful. That's four of them. That's exactly what we needed. I think I'm okay. It's just standing right here. Now, the circle is very small. It's in front of you. Uh, if you think about it as a half a circle around you, that is whatever stuff in front of you you can actually use to craft. If you're too far away and if it's behind you, you will not be able to use it for crafting. So, you might have a problem. All right. We're just going to open this up. And there we go. My shelter is available. And we're going to put that close to the fire, of course. I don't think you get burnt right now, so that's good. Beautiful shelter is in. And the shelter itself, while interacting with it, what you do is when you hold down, you can actually save, which is a nice little feature. And of course, you can actually get yourself... Oh, this didn't stick on there. Cooking part is still not there, is it? The smoke would be better, but... Do I have to do these... Wait a second, do I need a knife to take it apart? I think I might need a knife. Do I have some rocks here? Okay. Come here a second, buddy. Let's actually just press C and hold this down. I think I might have to do some with a knife. I think if I'm mistaken, it was with a knife. Deshell it. And there's a piece I just made. Is it on me? Okay, so I should have everything I need right now if I press C and hold it. There is a knife. Awesome. There you go. Clink, clink, clink. Everything is objective. Complete, objective, complete. Kill crab. Kill. There you go. And use a knife to skin the crap. Yeah, that's what it was. All right. My skin is E and hold it. There we go. I forgot about that. All right, that's good. I'm going to do the same thing for you. Sorry, buddy. I don't think I'm back at all, but... If I could use the two pieces of uh, crab meat, it's not the greatest. I do like that we can actually see how the fire goes out. Now, look, there's actually a, a bottom part. Wow, there's actually, the UI is nicer. I like that a lot. All right, I, I still can't put stuff on there, so I have to drop it on the ground and then pick it up and put it on top. You'll hear it sizzle. That's what I want to hear. There we go. Two pieces should hold pretty steady there. And for our water source, well, we're going to have to make ourselves do right now with hitting these suckers here. Actually, let's do it with a knife. So we don't waste our... There we go. Once is drinkable. Twice it's edible. So remember that. Now you can reuse this for water too. And just get for water sources and drink. So that's good. I'm going to drop you. And press F to see. We're still low. We're going to need to make ourselves something. Now what do we need for that water source? Um, what do we need for that again? Let's see here. It's going to ding when it's ready for the food, so don't worry about it too much. All right, solar still. I need one. I need three rocks. I have one, two, three. I have two rocks. Can I find one more rock, please? I need a pickaxe. I can take down that rock over there, but I can't do it right now. If I could find one more rock on a beach, it would be primo. The tarps are not going to be a problem. There we go. That's what I want. Tomorrow morning, we'll deal with the rest. Watch out for snakes. They usually hiss. I mean, like I saw before, it's really quick. Snap dead. <laughs> they, they do hurt, so you'd be careful. All right, we'll start right here. And we'll do C. Uh, that's not working still. I think I still need. I'm missing three. Oh, it's because it's behind me. Remember I told you? Yeah, it's behind me. All right, let's do that again. C. That's still right here. Put you. Where it doesn't look ridiculous. Got my food's ready. Cool. That's going to generate water. And they actually fixed that too, or they changed something about it. That's good. We can keep that food on us for now. Um, the water still stuff used to generate water, if I'm mistaken, 0.2. And now they changed it to something like one hour in game time to get one. So you won't get any water in here until it is completed. I'm not sure how it works anymore. If you look at it, it says hold E to interact. Uh, I don't see any water whatsoever. Now, usually you'll use a coconut to get the water from it. That is the best way of doing it. Open us this. Let's see. 
Boy, he smacked himself with that damn thing. All right, that's good. That's good. All right, so first aid, not bad. We got ourselves a fire. We got ourselves a still. And we got ourselves a... Well, that's why I stopped at first off. And we also got ourselves a bed and a place to save, which is awesome. We also got ourselves two nice crates, nice and easy. It's nice that he walked past and he didn't drag anything with him. Usually, those things would just come up and drag everything with them. That'd be... It just annoyed the shit out of me. All right, we do need to kill this damn thing, so... Um, we're going to do C. Four of these. I got one. Didn't say I was a master at this. I do like we pick up the spears. We can't get it back from the actual... Uh, Snake, so this is really cool. Usually that spear will tell us. There we go. Where he's at. It just sticks right out of him. There we go. Second one right in. Should we kill him? Yes, it did. All right, let's go for one. And I can actually right click and grab the snake back here. We can skid him and eat him. Or we can leave him here and be a friend for now. Here we go. Here we go, Johnny. Come on. Oh, the guy doesn't go on top anymore. He just goes right through. Oh, that takes away my fun. How about my, uh... How about my shelter? Oh, you go through all that shit, didn't you? This is why they don't affect... Oh, okay. That's why they don't affect the stuff. They're just walking right through it. Okay. I guess that's a way of fixing it. Now, to stoke up the fire again, if you ever get stuck with that, you just grab one of the sticks, make sure it's in your hands, and it, here you go. You just press an E and hold it, and it'll put it back in as you see the fire. Got a little more wood into it. Which is perfect. I usually like to use driftwood because I don't use, like, this is driftwood right here. You can take this apart and feed a fire with it. It's not my preferable fire. That's the reason why. So, yeah, that is something you could do. There's some more rock here, and there's a lot of things we have to go and pick up. So, sorry for the darkness. It is part of the game. We're going to save it up here. And when we come back, well, we're going to have to do a lot of work. <laughs> we have to figure out the gyroscope. We're going to have to figure out a whole bunch of other things. We have to explore and also get ourselves our feet off the ground and make sure we can not have to go too thirsty and hungry. Uh, there is water in the still right now, it looks like. Let's see if we can actually grab this if I open up the coconut. There we go. That did fill up my coconut. It did. Nice. That's going to help. It takes a little bit longer right now. If not, I do that. It will not give me the water. You'll see it. It kind of fills itself up just like the fire on the bottom there. So that bar, there'll be a bar inside the bar, which will fill up. It'll be perfect. All right, guys. Very, very patient. Just like this one. You see it? Dark on the inside. Oh, look at that. It fills up a lot faster. I guess I meant the whole fill up. That's awesome. All right, so no worries about water now. We got a lot of things to do, including getting a lot of, well, a lot of this stuff here. We're going to get a lot of lashings. So thank you so much for being here again. This is the Edge for Gimmage. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Mm -hmm.